we agree that cosmetic procedures can be the best allies of beauty. We will not deny that there are certain procedures or surgeries that improve the appearance of the face. However, if it is not done correctly, too many procedures are performed or, if they are not in safe hands, a disaster can occur. And it's not that we're describing Rania de Jordan's facial changes as a disaster, or anything like that, but it's true that in recent months she has not made the best decisions as far as her face is concerned. She has abused the scalpel, as has happened to many other celebrities, and lost the naturalness she had in the past when she was part of the aesthetic makeup club with questionable taste. Rania of Jordan had a nose job when she was very young, long before she met King Abdullah II of Jordan. Since she became queen, Rania won the love of the people until she became, pun intended, one of the most beloved and stylish monarchs due to her looks. The mother, responsible for protecting women's education in her country through her organization and taking a stance completely against the need to wear the veil, in fact she refuses to wear it, is one of the undisputed female icons of her country. His struggle for style with Dona Letizia, with whom he has a great relationship, has left us with memorable outfits that will go down in history. But the change in his face has also left its mark, nowadays he is almost unrecognizable okay, periodic Botox injections are a very good solution and we fully support the injection of vitamins and hyaluronic acid to achieve a smoother and more radiant skin, is it Queen Letizia's secret? But the final result that Rania achieved is very similar to the one that Renee Zellweger got a few years ago when she overdid the retouching. So that you can see the change with your own eyes, we have created a gallery with photos of the Queen of Jordan that speak for themselves. There's nothing a scalpel can't fix, we agree. But when the cure is worse than the disease, what happened to the Rania of Jordan that we remember during our visits to Zarzuela? As a friend, what would Letizia think of the radical change? Although it is true that they have already been poured on occasion, yes, getting a more natural result. In 2010, the queen had a face with very pronounced cheekbones, but without exaggeration. In 2011, her lips looked much less exaggerated and fuller. Rania was addicted to these interventions. In 2015, it was hidden to everyone that there was some change with her face, rumor has it that after the summer, she went through sheet metal and dyed to look radiant during a trip to the Big Apple. We don't think it was quite the same result, Botox injections into her lips started out as something natural, but over the years, the queen increased them until she achieved an artificial result that a much more rounded chin, lack of wrinkles and goosefoot around her eyes. Signs cannot be overlooked. In 2017, they have already begun to appreciate the transformation a brow lift, very pronounced and filled cheekbones, and suspiciously plump lips, Botox, injections. According to experts, the change in her face is not due to any radical surgery, but to a combination of different measures. Her cheekbones no longer look natural, the skin is excessively shiny from infiltrates. What have you done to yourself, Rania? In her last appearance, Rania looks almost unrecognizable. Along with Queen Letizia, Rania wore her hair wavy, making the aesthetic changes even more obvious.